How can we claim right from wrong? When we any year massacre around 70 billion land animals and 2.8 trillion marine animals not for survival or sustenance just because people are being brainwashed by the society that it is normal and necessary when it is actually the opposite it brings how extremely amount of bad health to us check out dr john maduko or um, dr mega gregor or new campbell or Eisenstein, where are other of the plant-based and vegan doctors? Please, awaken. It is not necessary. How can we claim to know right from wrong when we do that? When if we kill members of our species in the same rate that we kill the other animals we have exterminated our own species in less than 17 days when come the day that we really know right from wrong morality is easy morality comes from compassion and if some action like consumption of animals for no reason more than taste pleasure, then we are comp then we actually act out of malice. So not for survival, there's selfishness as we do it out of survival. But it's, we do it because we can do it. That's malice. This might make right. That's malice. You, if you do something just because you can do it, not because there is one justification for doing it, and if it costs harm or suffering to all other living beings, that act, my friend, is totally coming from malice. All, ba all actions can come only from three basic sources. Three basic essence egocentrism compassion and malice <laughs> malice is any action that um, destroys only for the sake of destroying killing for the sake of killing it is the purest form of evil when one rapist Rape, this action comes from a combination of ego, because he finds pleasure from it, and malice, since he don't need it to do such an abomination act. When one murderer just murder because he finds it funny to see how others die, and see the scared look on their faces like the Zodiac Killer or Ed, Campbell, uh, Ed Kemper that action is also for malice when some person sacrifices on time to help other living beings that's action is uh, most likely from compassion sometimes maybe there are a little bit of selfish motives maybe in it but mostly the action comes from compassion when somebody sacrificed himself to save a lot of other living beings for example um animal liberation front member frees hundreds and hundreds maybe 
maybe even thousands of innocent animals in chinchilla farms. For burnt, for fur. And he get arrested. Even if he not get arrested, that action is 100% coming from compassion. Compassion for the innocent victims. The actions and the motives of the fur workers are pure egocentristic and malice. Mostly egocentristic, I suggest, because they make a lot of money from it. But the act of um, putting one metal object in the anuses and anal lactocute them is pure malice. That part of the business. There's no compassion involved in that. So there is not a justifiable motive. And the fur farmers should be absolutely not compensated in such a situation. When animal rights activists wanted to save chickens from a chicken concentration camp, if they do some protest, that action is not egocentristic. That action is compassionful because they were to save innocent animals from a place of torture and hell. That our society don't see that is shameful. That um, the actions of um, Harriet Tubman and the Underground Railroad movement were completely justifiable, even in that time. Harry Tubman, man. Harry Tubman were, uh, was seen as one uh, runaway uh, criminal slave, how freed slaves from bondation or slavery. <laughs> one time, she had a bounty on her head from 40,000 American dollars. So don't say me that the slave masters think she was a good person. So, don't go retard. <coughs> Sorry, I have a little bit of hay fever. Go a little a lot better than the uh, year before. On that time, I was calm. Only 100% of the time. Chee, chee, chee. Understand you what I mean? If you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims, label them stupid and dirty. Say that their life don't matter at all. Say that their life is replaceable. That there are just inanimate objects. That are just tools made for them and serve them. To torment them, a slave murdered them. Say that their life don't matter at all. Say that they are replaceable. Say that they are just tools made for you to serve them. Like Hitler, like slave masters, like Hamant, the governor of North Carolina. South Carolina in the 19th century, America. Like rapists and rapist lawyers try to do when there is such a case of that somebody is a rapist and they need a lawyer and the lawyer have to try to defend the rapist behavior by blaming the behavior of the person who is raped for the rape. Such a disgusting. Act. But yes, furthermore, if you are not, if you are the victim, things look a lot better. If you are the victim, or you speak up for the victims, things look a lot different from that ankle mate. <laughs> There's no excuse to anymore for what they do to the victims, or what I do to you. Empathy allows people to understand situations without 
trying to justify it. Specific when the actions are such horrendous evil, like animal agriculture. Saying, oh, what about the farmers then? I say, what about the animals? Do they deserve there to be happy and not be turned into burgers? The sleazy, disgusting slave masters also try to do that. With a representative of Liverpool saying that there are some 5,500 sailors can lose their job when slavery will be abolished in that time. But then take at least some 20 years longer to end slavery. Have we not learned from it? Victims are in more important than victimizers. The rape victim is more important than the rapists. The victim of murder is more important than the fucking murderer. The Ku Klux Klan member who murdered the father of Malcolm X was Less important than the father of Malcolm X in that scenario. And don't try to hold it out of context. Context. I like. I know your oppressors like to do that. But I challenge you for one moment to admit your evils. What things logical and compassionful for once in your life instead of try to hold the status quo just the way it been and say we will do anytime always so we have done we, because we are uber conservatives megalomania extremists I don't can hold uh, chains uh, Dogmatics. We claim to know right or wrong. It is time we prove that. It is time that we eliminate all forms of slavery. Because I can't tell you, the thing we do now, only fighting against some forms of slavery or bumblestry, but not allowing all living beings to be free from the scale of slavery. Animals are not here to serve us. Like women are not here to serve men. Just like black people in Europe are not here to serve white people. Just like white people in Arabia or other anti-Semitic countries like that are not here to serve black people. No living being is here to serve another as a slave. And actually, the first societies that have slavery were also the first society that at first had animal agriculture. Animal agriculture is the keystone of slavery. Because if we can dominate, control, commodize one, we can do it with others. Speciesism is the first form of hatred that we learn to the children. Long before heterosexism, long before sexism, long before white supremacy or black supremacy, we learn to discriminate between animals. We learn that it is okay to Justify uh, the discrimination between pigs, cows, chickens, turkeys, 
that it is okay to kill uh, certain animals in spaces we don't can see and other animals to love and care for like dogs and cats in the west and pigs in some places in Africa and I hold uh, pigs as pets but what it all been is based on arbitrary criteria just because we have choose it not because of any logic it is time that we we'll learn learn I say and become better persons and extend our compassion to all earthlings and not just some that's how we can bring peace on this planet we have tried for many centuries now for many generations by the anthropocentric arbitrary criteria on basis of members of a certain species criteria and that does not work why not try something new why not try to extend your compassion to all living beings peace should always start on the dinner table by what you eat on a daily basis not by where you pray to or what you believe uh, but by your actions your actions are far more important than your words put your words where your put your actions where your words are if you care about justice then you are should not only care about members of your own species but you also should care about the rights of other animals even if you don't like animals necessarily because I don't like people does that mean that I am a serial killer and kill anybody I see, I see even if I can no because I'm not a hypocrite it's time for you to watch in the mirror instead of that you judge vegans and that you make up false accusations against them please get a reality check vegans are not the violent ones that are the pig the ex vegans or the fake vegans or the farmers or such people but we are not the ones with a knife and cutting innocent living beings their throats and cutting them down after that in small pieces that are the people in the slaughterhouse how you so who, how you pay to do that to these animals so you are responsible it is called murder by proxy the same way Charles Manson was a murderer so stop w doing that make a plea and move forward evolve become vegan it means eat lentils eat legumes eat bananas eat khaki fruit eat rice easy peasy